This is the Smart e-bike. It's an electric bike that's being branded through Smart, which makes uh, these sort of like cute little cars are very efficient. It's part of Mercedes-Benz. And this bike is actually themed to match some of those Smart cars, right? So kind of got the green accents. They have another one that's more of a dark gray with orange accents. They both come in this sort of standard medium-sized frame. Uh, of course, the seat is adjustable and it's got a little bit of a, it's kind of a cut through step. So fairly easy to mount. And there are a lot of accessories, including sort of a rear cargo rack thing with these matching panniers. There's even like a coat that you can get. Um, so it's very stylized, right? And I think the, the frame was even worked on by Cal Nikolai, who's a German engineer who's known for, uh, you know, making these really cool heavy duty frames. And this one's just a lot more elegant. You know, it's kind of got this beautiful um, swept back design like that. Uh, it's aluminum alloy, about 60 pounds. And of course, a little bit more rear heavy because it is using a gearless direct drive hub motor in the rear. It's actually powered by Bionics. Depending on the version you get, um, of course, it's gonna have a limited top speed of 15 miles per hour, kind of European spec, or 20 miles per hour in the US. It's pedal assist only. Um, Bionic systems, some of the other kits, do offer more of like a throttle mode on some of theirs. This one's all about pedal assist and it's torque sensing. In this case, they're using like that carbon belt drive system, which is really quiet, uh, very elegant, and uh, in terms of just, you know, avoiding rust and maintenance and the noise of like a chain going tink, 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 that kind of thing. Uh, I really appreciate that. You'll notice that there aren't, there's only like that one front ring and there's no cassette in the rear. That's because this actually has a SRAM three-speed internally geared hub inside the motor. Okay, so that's the Bionic system again, that they've, they've got a, a motor, and then there's actually gears inside that you can shift right up here from standstill. So that's kind of cool. You know, you come to a stoplight or a stop sign, you can downshift. And uh, yeah, I, I appreciate that. It's a neat design that they're offering. And even just the gray color and the theming here, sort of matches the the battery, which is centrally mounted. So, you know, again, some, some motor weight in the rear, battery right there in the center. I can just show this real quick. Take the key, unlock it, and there's this button thing. And then you grab the battery pack, like this, here we go. And it just slides right out, right? So that's kind of cool. That's where it mounts. You can charge this thing inside somewhere where it's gonna be a little bit, you know, protected from the elements, that kind of thing. Once you slide it back in, just go like that and lock it down and you're ready to go. So the battery itself uses lithium, manganese, cobalt cells. They're gonna be durable, they're relatively lightweight, again, low and center, how it's mounted. It's a 48 volt, 8.8 .8 amp hour configuration. And again, the motor sort of 250 watt, 350 watt depending on on your geography and it's a high torque design the other really neat thing that was innovated with the smart system is this deep sleep protection so if you haven't turned the bike on for two months it will automatically shut down all sensors and everything in there so there's no like trickle drain happening and that's going to protect the battery and kind of extend its its life right because when lithium batteries get too low that can kind of damage the chemistry so that's something that bionics is sort of innovated they also have, if, if it reaches like 10% of the battery and hasn't been used for two weeks, same thing activates. So that's the deep sleep system, that's cool. They're using sort of best of breed accessories here. We got this nice wide, very grippy Ergon pedals. Ergon grips up here with the half twist shifter. There's the other side. There's the uh, sort of a breakout box for the Bionics computer system right here. You turn it on by pressing any of these buttons and then you can sort of arrow up, there are four levels of assist, or arrow down, and there's four levels of regen. So this thing does have regenerative braking and also regenerative um, regen mode. So if you're you know, coasting down a hill or something like that, you can kind of store up some of your battery. 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear, MT4 Magura, quick release on the front wheel, it's got lights built in, whoa, super bright, and even a USB, uh, a charger, right? So, you know, you notice that my smartphone is up here and there's an app. So it's got the Ant Plus sort of wireless receiver for using heart rate monitors and stuff. And in this case, use a little dongle, 
if I just get my phone to work right here. Now I've got the Smart App pulled up, right? And it even fits with a, with a case on. It's actually nice and snug, and it's communicating with sort of this battery pack. So the whole system just, you know, really, really finely tuned. Here's the rear light. You got the fenders. You got the belt drive. It's quiet. Yeah, it's just, it's cool. And otherwise, it's just like the Bionic system. You know, and you can even take off the display, which is awesome for, uh, kind of for security and stuff. There's the kickstand. Okay, so I'm on. And the other thing is you can cycle through the clock, the trip, odometer, uh, and the average speed just using using that old sort of throttle button. So that's cool. They've kind of, you know, repurposed that over here. And again, I'm going to take it all the way up to assist level four just to get some idea of what it sounds like when pedaling. Wow, just so quiet. The Bionic system is known for being quiet, but when you have that belt drive like that, just very smooth. That's not the most forgiving electric bike, like when you go over, you know, big cracks and bumps and stuff because it doesn't have any suspension and it's got more of an active saddle. But uh, yeah, it's smooth. It's very smooth. And there's a little bit of give. This has like 26 inch wheels, so it's a little bit, keeps a little bit lower to the ground, um, fairly maneuverable. And there's enough room that when you turn, you know, you're not getting too close to your, to your feet. So here's a quick view of the other color, sort of this dark gray with orange. You'll notice it's got the rack installed on the back and a suspension fork. So there are a lot of different accessories, as I mentioned earlier, for the smart e-bike. I also just wanted to call out while we're looking at the frame that one of the downsides here is trying to mount this to your car or whatever. You'll notice the top tube isn't isn't exactly straight and it's not quite as open as, as on a traditional bike frame. And there really isn't like a water bottle uh, mount there. So you might have to add panniers or use a backpack or something like that. But the fact that the battery is removable just makes this thing uh, a little bit lighter if you've got to transport it. There we go. The other cool thing about this system is that it has regen modes, four of them. So you can kind of go into that regeneration, put a little bit of power back into your battery, or if you're going down a big hill and you want to save your disc brake rotors, that kind of thing, uh, you, can, you can increase that. So that's really neat. That's one of the things about this brushless, gearless uh, motor system. And it could give you a workout, you know, if you, if you want to get out there and have a little bit more resistance and you don't have a lot of hills nearby, you can, uh, you can go into regen mode. So I'm going to do that real quick. Yeah. You can see there's a little symbol here that shows that I'm putting energy back into the battery. And then of course there's the app. So if I just turn this on, I can see going about 10, 15. This is sweet. It's telling me how many calories I'm burning how far I'm going with a nice big bright screen and that's communicating wirelessly back to that battery pack area. Pretty cool. Neat to see that kind of technology. And of course I could also be charging this with that USB dongle attachment down here as well. So all around just a really cool system. You got the lights, you got the fenders, integrated battery, really clean looking. And then of course you've got, you're getting backed up by Mercedes Benz and Smart and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's the smart e-bike. Neat to see car companies stepping into this space and then really doing it right with a proven system like Bionics here. For the full specs on this bike, comments and pictures, I'll see you back at Electric Bike Review. 
www.thepowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpowerfulpow